one will be Kansas State, lane two, St. Joseph's, lane three, Sac State, lane four, University of San Diego, lane five, St. Mary's, and lane six, the Stanford Lightweights. In the men's Copley Cup Grand Final tomorrow, lane one, Stanford, lane two, Washington, lane three, Cal, lane four, Harvard, lane five, Princeton, and lane six, Brown. The men's Copley Cup Petite Final tomorrow, lane one, Yale, lane two, Syracuse, lane three, Michigan, lane four, Oregon State, and lane five, Purdue. The Women's Jessup Whittier Cup Grand Final tomorrow. Lane 1, Michigan. Lane 2, University of Southern California. Lane 3, Washington. Lane 4, Wisconsin. Lane 5, Oregon State. And Lane 6, Washington State. Tomorrow's Jessup Whittier, uh, Women's Jessup Whittier Cup Petite Final. Lane 1, Iowa. Lane 2, UCLA. Lane 3, Notre Dame. Lane four, Miami, and lane five, UC Davis. We're now moving away from the collegiate races. And starting on the junior part of the program and the next uh, set of events will be the men's junior eight uh, three heats of men's junior eight correct Uh, my apologies, we still have one collegiate race left, the next race is our 11 o'clock race, the Women's Collegiate Novice C event. Checking on our lane assignments here in lane number one, Washington State. UCLA is coming out of lane number two, number three is San Diego State University, lane four it is Sacramento State, lane five the University of San Diego, Long Beach State is in lane six, and UOP, University of Pacific, is in lane number seven. California, Los Angeles, UCLA. Lane three, San Diego State. Lane four, Sacramento State. Lane five, University of Washington. Lane six, Long Beach, the beach. Lane seven, University of Pacific. All boats have now cleared the 100 meter breakage zone and your early leader in lane three is San Diego State. Washington State, UCLA, San Diego State, and Sacramento State are all virtually tied as they cross the 250. Now at the 300 meter mark, there's been a strong push in lane four by the California State University Sacramento as they enjoy a half a deck lead over San Diego State. San Diego State is half a deck over UCLA. UCLA is half the deck over Washington State. And then we look to the University of San Diego. 
which is about a tiller over the beach and University Pacific. So as we are approaching the 500 meter mark, Sacramento State is increasing their lead. At the 500 meter mark, Sacramento State has pushed out to two seats over now lane one, who is making a move, Washington State, who is one seat over UCLA. UCLA is two seats over San, early leader of San Diego State. San Diego State is about a tiller over the University of San Diego. And then off the back is uh, Long Beach State and the University of Pacific. That is your call for the 500. Once again, quickly our lane assignment for the Women's Collegiate Novice C. Washington State is in lane one, UCLA in lane two. Coming in lane three will be San Diego State University. Sacramento State in lane four, University of San Diego in lane five. Long Beach State in lane six, and UOP in lane number seven. Well, these novice women's races are the building blocks of their programs for the future. Um, all, everybody's hoping not only to uh, recruit and develop uh, existing junior women rowers, but also to recruit uh, physiologically gifted uh, women on campus with a view to teaching them how to row and turning them into the champions of the future. And that's a mix of what we're seeing out there in this race. This looks like it's going to be a humdinger of a race because in lanes three and four, Sac State and San Diego State are rowing stroke for stroke in this race. As we can see, it's a very tight race. Uh, it looks as though the crew from Washington State have pulled up a bit and might have eased themselves into the lead over UCLA on the inside. Washington State and UCLA are the two programs with the big budgets, uh, but uh, San Diego State and Sac State uh, also are full scholarship programs. Uh, and they will be seeking to challenge the uh, programs which are nationally ranked in lanes one and two inside them. Inside 1,000 meters to go in our race, 2,000 meters from the Sea World Towers down to in front of our major size 10 up on top of the knoll. And right now it is Washington State University in lane number one currently on the lead. They are being challenged on the outside in lane number four by Sacramento State and inside by UCLA and San Diego State University. Those four crews along challenging one another. And then on the outside, University of San Diego, uh, followed on the far outside by UOP and then Long Beach State. Once again, it will be the top two to the grand finale. It'll be the next two. Uh, to the petite final and then the remaining crews in this will go to the third final. Washington State on the lead along the shoreline. They are being challenged by UCLA immediately to their outside. Sacramento State on the far outside in lane number four and then back inside to San Diego State University the top four crews as they come across. We have some open water back to USD. Uh, then the Long Beach State has closed up on UOP out in the far outside lane number seven. Yes, it looks as though the early pushes by Sacramento State and by San Diego State may have told a little bit in the third 500 because they slipped back from the uh, powerful crews from Washington State and UCLA. Inside 500 meters to go, Washington State continues to be shadowed by UCLA on the outside. 1-2 finish, both get to the grand finale, but uh, we will look for one of the remaining two crews, either Sacramento State or San Diego State, to try to get up into the hunt, and they will need to fight off who's on the outside there, the University of San Diego. Then on the far outside, that is Long Beach State and University of Pacific. Along the shoreline, Washington State 
and Cal, uh, UCLA rather, Washington State, UCLA. That is Sacramento State out in the middle of the field and they're being challenged and shadowed by San Diego State University. There is open water between our two leaders, Washington State and UCLA. Back to Sacramento State and San Diego State putting on a bit of a challenge. It won't decide which final they'll be going into, but maybe they want to make a statement here and try to make a run to the end to give the other crew something to think about the next time out. But right now it's Washington State on the lead, UCLA about six seats behind and not pushing to challenge. On the outside, that is Sacramento State. They are being challenged by San Diego State. Sacramento State by about four seats. San Diego State on the inside. Then there is open water back to University of San Diego, Long Beach State, and the University of Pacific. Our apparent winner, Washington State University, followed by UCLA. It is Sacramento State on the outside and San Diego State on the inside. And it looks like Sac State may have held off a San Diego State challenge for positions three and four in this race. And then the apparent remaining contestants will be the University of San Diego, followed by Long Beach State and the University of Pacific. The Cushman Wellness Center at Sharp Memorial Outpatient Pavilion is proud to offer therapies such as yoga, chug on, and healing touch to help you maintain and enhance your physical well-being. For more information, call 882-SHARP or visit our website 